So here we have a similar problem as example one, but now we have a g of x and an f of x, and we're going from four to nine on both of them. So for, a, for part a, we can take our f of x and our g of x and split that up into two integrals to make that the integral from four to nine first of f of x, and then we bring over the plus, and, or excuse me, let me put my dx first plus the integral from 4 to 9 of g of x dx. We're told that from 4 to 9 of f of x dx is equal to 12 and g of x is equal to negative 4. So it's 12 plus negative 4 which is 8. If we have part b we have g of x minus f of x we can first write that as the integral from 4 to 9 of g of x dx and then because it's a minus in the uh, problem we can do minus the integral from 4 to 9 of f of x dx and so plugging in the negative 4 for the g of x integral and then minus the 12 for the f of x integral we have negative 4 minus 12, which is negative 16, which is the answer for that part. For part C, we have a coefficient, so as we've done before, we can bring that to the front. The integral, or 2 times the integral from 4 to 9 of g of x dx. And we can substitute our negative 4 for the g of x integral multiplying 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 and then for part D similarly we can bring the 3 to the front 3 times the integral from 4 to 9 of f of x dx and the integral from 4 to 9 of f of x dx is 12 so this is 3 times 12 which is equal to 36 and that's it